And for more on this, I'm joined by Robin Rickards. He is a retired corporal who served three tours in Afghanistan. He joins me now from Thunder Bay. Robin, thank you for your time here on CTV News Channel. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me, Akshay. Now, there is chaos, panic in Afghanistan this morning. When you look at these videos, difficult to watch from the airport in Kabul, what thoughts come to your mind? That this is an entirely avoidable catastrophe. Uh, for months, uh, my MP's office, Marcus Pavlovsky, who's a Liberal member of Parliament, has been unable to get the, uh, the government to focus on the issue and develop a plan. And they developed a program and invited uh, that should be lauded because it was uh, designed to capture and bring over all the people who are genuinely at risk, but they had no plan to execute it. As we speak, there is one immigration official in the Islamabad embassy to deal with uh, what will likely be 40 to 50,000 applications if people are able to get there. But really, what I think the prime minister is doing is counting on the Taliban to take care of the, uh, the numbers problem for him so that he doesn't have to dedicate any resources to this. Because six weeks ago, we were telling him to land uh, C-117s in Kandahar to evacuate people to third countries so that the paperwork could be processed there in, um, in a clear and efficient manner. Those, uh, those calls were ignored. My MP's office can't even get return phone calls from Minister Mendicino's office. Right. Uh, I mean, uh, Justin Trudeau did say earlier today in a press conference that they are working on it. And we know there are flights that are landing. But yes, the response has been slow, as many of you, several veterans, have been saying. Uh, Justin Trudeau also saying today that uh, the diplomatic staff has been evacuated while a number of Canadian citizens and armed forces continue to remain on the ground. But Robin, I, I want to hear from you about the situation on the ground with the country of Afghanistan now in control of the Taliban. Today, the world is asking this question. Why were those billions of of dollars spent, thousands of sacrifices made for over two decades, when all of it was literally washed out within a month? Well, that's, that's a good question, but you can see the, uh, the desperation in people as they try to flee the, uh, the country. People in Afghanistan and in Kabul have held on until the very last moment. They had hoped and hoped and hoped that we would care enough about Afghanistan to, to prevent the coming apocalypse that is about to envelop it. But unfortunately, Afghanistan doesn't matter. It doesn't matter in this election. And a quote that I once saw on a whiteboard in Kandahar Airfield says it all. It was an American one, but it said, America is not at war. The Marine Corps is at war. America is at the mall. And the same thing is true of Canada. The soccer moms in the 905 don't care about this issue. And that's why Justin Trudeau can get away with what he's doing. That's why we never put the effort into Afghanistan that was needed. That's why we went there with half the forces we needed, we went with enough to deal with the Taliban, but not with the warlords. And the warlords made their way into government. And why did the Afghan army fold so quickly? Because people like Rashid Dostum and Adan Noor were pillaging the paychecks of the uh, soldiers, the money that was designed to that was destined to pay their soldiers went into their pockets so that they could escape to Uzbekistan. That's why it's falling apart. And we never had the courage to call out people like Ahmed Wali Karzai, who was the governor of Kandahar province, and destroyed all the work that we put into that province because we didn't have the political fortitude to confront him at the time and confront the Karzai regime at that time. And if you look at the social media feeds of all Afghans, right. They view the, the outgoing regime as a pack of jackals. Nobody wants to see the Taliban, but nobody wants to sacrifice for that regime either. Right. There is clearly anger and frustration in your voice today because of what's happening in Afghanistan, and there are several who continue to advocate the same. Robin Rickards, we appreciate you joining us on the channel. Thank you so much for your views. Thank you very much.